good day everyone mr cargill here with our next autocad video now in this video we're going to be looking at how we go about drawing a hyperbola in autocad when you are given the ratio of eccentricity and the distance from the directrix to the focus now it says here that the hyperbola is the locus of a point which moves so that the ratio uh, of its distances from the focus and the directrix is constant and greater than unity so what greater than unity means is greater than one all right a ratio uh, a ratio of something that is one to one means that it is um equal so if it is greater than one meaning that if it's something like four over three or three over two then it would be greater than one and hence greater than unity it says in this case the one that we're going to draw it says let the distance from the focus the distance of the focus from the directrix be 60 millimeter and the ratio of eccentricity be 3 over 2. So here, this is the directrix. As you can see, this line here, that's, that's the directrix. And then this point right here, point V, that is the vertex. And then point F is the focus. So given this information, now we can head over to AutoCAD and we can start doing this drawing. All right, so first thing, we're going to start with the directrix. So we're just going to draw a line, no specific distance. All right, just draw. Let me turn on ortho. And let's just draw a line. And again, this line has no specific measurement. All right, and then I'm going to draw a horizontal line in the middle of this line here. Okay, it doesn't have to be from the middle can be from anywhere but I just I'll just use the middle since it's, it's easier all right now from here now we have this horizontal line let me change this to a white line all right so here it says that the distance from the the distance from the directrix to the focus is going to be 60 millimeters so we're going to offset the directrix by 60 offset the entire 60 and then i'll uh, and that is 60 right there all right so i just offset the directrix by 60 and we get this point right here with the focus so we need to label these points so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select text create a little box like that and i'm going to call the point right here with this horizontal line meets the directrix we're going to call point a i'm going to move that from there i'm just turn off ortho and i'm going to bring that here okay so that's point a then i'm going to copy this a bring this over here i'm going to turn on object snap because i don't want it to turn off object snap because i don't want it to stop to snap to the line all right and that is going to be our point f and f of course means focus all right so this is point f the focus all right good so the distance from the focus to the directrix is 60 millimeters no one more thing it says that the ratio of eccentricity is 3 over 2 okay the ratio of eccentricity is 3 over 2 so what we're going to do is add 3 plus 2 and that gives us 5 so that from the focus the directrix is going to be divided into five equal parts all right so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to this line i'm going to delete this part of the line here okay and i'm going to divide this um, part of the line from the focus to the directrix i'm going to tap divide it says select object to divide the line is what i want to divide it says enter the number of segments i want five different segments i'm going to type five and there the line is divided into five now if when you tap divide you don't see these points here you just type ddp click on ddp type select any one of these and then select what how, how large you want them to be and i'm going to use two and then just click ok and then it will come up and we're going to draw um so with this now before we draw anything we just found our vertex how did we find the vertex the ratio of eccentricity in this case is three to two from the focus to the directrix not from the direct focus but from focus directrix so from here counting one two three that is three all right so this 
this point right here is where our vertex would be and you can see that three divisions are here one two three and then the next two divisions one two so that gives us our ratio of eccentricity three over two so this point right here will be our vertex okay so now we're going to draw a line from the vertex but before we do that we're going to measure a distance and the distance we're going to measure is going to be from f to the vertex right here and that this distance is 36 okay so before i draw anything let me just label the vertex turn off object snap because i don't want it snapping to the line right, so that's my vertex there good all right so now what i'm going to do is we'll just measure the distance from the from the focus to vertex and it says that it is 36 so we're going to draw a vertical line that is going to be 36 millimeters as well so to draw a line from this point here ensure that you have node turned on in object snap all right ensure that you have node turned on i just always keep everything on unless i don't i really don't need it hard it's obstructing the drawing all right so from here i'm going to draw this line up by 36 let me turn on ortho draw this line up by 36 like that good but what i'm going to do here is to draw a diagonal line i'm just using a different color i'm going to draw a diagonal line from the directrix here to this point here and then i'm going to extend this let me turn off ortho All right. then i'm going to extend this like that All right there should be like a green like a green when extending it looks like a green line it's the same angle like this angle is just continuing all right so here good so let's just join this with here lovely all right so here what we're going to do now is we're going to let me firstly just extend the vertex down a little Turn on back ortho and just extend this down. No specific um, distance. Then we're going to divide distance from the focus, sorry, from the vertex. We're going to divide this horizontal line into a number of parts, a specific amount of parts. Um, we're going to divide this into a number of parts, all right, from the vertex going past the focus. So this is what we're going to do. I'm just going to click this line at first and i am going to copy this line from here and i'm going to just bring it bring it to some random points the points don't have to be equal distance apart apart or anything so i don't have to bring the line here or here or anything and bring it to like any 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 random points the points don't have to be equal or anything so i can just do this all right and uh that is enough i don't need any more points than that and the reason why the amount of points that you isn't really um, that important is because the hyperbola will continue into infinity all right so if i stand if i stop right here all right if I, if i will continue on it would go on into infinity so i couldn't draw the entire hyperbola to begin with so we'll just draw a portion right. so here now this is our vertex and then we have the focus right here so let's give the focus a different color since it's a unique line and we will see how it's um, unique. Let me use a lighter color. There we go. All right. So then I'm going to select like a grayish color for like a construction. Line. And I'm going to draw a circle. All right. This circle, you know, I'm going to start from here. Not from the vertex. Uh, so the point from the vertex is right here. So I'm going to click right here. Where the vertex line meets the horizontal line. I'm going to click right here. That's going to be the center of my circle. And I'm going to bring that circle up to where the vertical line meets the that magenta diagonal line right here okay i'm going to select the circle again i'm going to come to the focus i will i don't really need to do it for the focus but i'll just do it. all right the the line from the focus meets the magenta diagonal line right here okay so what i'm going to do the circle that i drew from here i'm going to move it this point because this is where i drew, drew it from this was the center of the circle i'm going to click on that i'm going to move it from there and i'm going to move it to the focus all right all the circles will be moved to the focus 
So let me do that again at a different point. So this line here, that's the center. And the vertical line there meets the diagonal line right here. So I'll click that point. And then I'm going to click on the circle. I'm going to move the circle from this point here. And I'm going to move it to the focus. Okay. I'm going to select a circle again from this point here. I'm going to bring it up here. I'm click that circle. I'm going to select the move tool and I'm going to move this to the focus again. All right. All, all the circles will be moved to the focus. Uh, which line are we at now? I think we are at this one right here. And this vertical line means the line right there. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to move this from here and bring it to the focus again. And then I have one more circle to draw now from this point here. Bring this all the way up to the vertical line, means the horizontal line right there. I'm going to click on the circle and I'm going to move the move tool move it from the center and bring it to the focus right here. Love it. All right, now, so what we're going to do here is to draw our hyperbola. And I'm going to select the spleen command right here. No, we're going to start from this point. We could start from the vertex, but when you start from the vertex you tend to get a point right at the vertex instead of getting like a smooth curve so i figured that when you start from the end so to speak then you get, you get a smooth curve at the vertex all right so let's start here so in this case this clear meets this vertical line right here. so this would be our first point okay then the next circle here with this vertical line right here so our next point then circle number three this one here meets this vertical line right here and then we continue on in the same manner all right this circle here meets this vertical line right here and then the, the this circle here meets the vertical line right here in this case this is the one that comes on the focus so we know it meets right there okay then this line meets this circle right at this point here and we bring that down to the vertex. No, now that we've done half of it, we could just mirror that half and get the next half. But again, when you do the mirror, when you do the mirror command, um, you tend to get a point at the vertex. So instead of mirroring it, we'll just continue and finish the hyperbola. All right, so here, all we have to do down here now is just to draw our draw match the the spleen line to where the vertical line the circle the vertical lines meets on the circle so in this case this vertical line meets this circle right here then this vertical line and the focus meets the circle here this vertical line meets this circle here this vertical line meets this circle right here this vertical line meets that circle here and then this vertical line meets this circle right here and then press spacebar and here that would be your hyperbola so this right here all right the right here i have my hyperbola so that's you draw an hyperbola in autocad when you are given the um ratio of eccentricity and the distance from the focus to the directrix thank you for watching and i hope that you found this video very helpful if you did please drop a like that would be very very helpful and do have yourselves a wonderful day